I'm Kimberly Colburn, and I'm the literary director here at South Coast Repertory, and this is Viet Gone by Kui Win in 60 seconds or less. Okay, so Kui Win got this crossroads residency, right? He comes to Orange County, he's got to explore for a couple of days, he goes to the UCI Southeast Asian Archives, and he spots these photos. They're set in Fort Chaffee, Arkansas, which remind him of his parents. And he thinks about his parents and how did they meet. So then he's inspired to write this play called Viet Gone. It's set in April of 1975, around the fall of Saigon, and Quang and Tong are forced to leave Vietnam for the United States. So Quang is in the South Vietnamese Air Force, and that's Quy's dad. And Tong works for the American Embassy. That's kind of based on Quy's mom. So once they're in the United States, Quang and Tong are housed in a Vietnamese refugee camp in Fort Chaffee, Arkansas. Quang has his best friend Nam, who's also in the Air Force, and Tong has her mother, Huang, who she sort of has a strained relationship with. So then they're strangers, but when they finally meet, it's like, woof, bam, and they are gonna get it on, right? They're ha they start having a fling, but both of them are sort of haunted by the families and friends that they left behind. Tong's really eager to like settle down and start her new life in America. Kwong's kind of ambivalent, both about sort of Vietnam and the wife and kids he left behind. So the whole situation is pretty complicated. They've got strong personalities and sort of opposing goals and major hurdles before they can start a relationship. But I'm sort of thinking they can make it work in the end. The whole story is told with like this very awesome modern language and Kui's background in hip hop and stage combat. So even though it's set in 1975, it also sort of feels like today. It's great. You gotta see it.